Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. Uh, let me just pop this right in here because that's where that goes. And we are ready for the final flip through of this tutorial series um, process video of the making of a desk set, another one of my desk sets. So um, the prototype was this one, which is all apart right now and um so i created that and i did it out of a couple of file folders and uh, then i came and did this one okay for those of you that have been following along this is how it ended up this is how we ended up it turned out so i'm going to show you the front first i'll flip it and show you the back and then we'll go through the journal so let me pop the journal out and you know that this is expandable, so you can have more room in here just by untying these ties. And that's sari silk and some eyelets. And then let me pop this journal out. And this is what the journal looks like um, from the front and then from the back. And oh, you know what? I forgot to pop a couple tags in those pockets. So I'll have to find some tags to do that. All right, uh, in this first pocket, I did. I ended up uh, adding a couple of tags here. This one, I added this chiffon on it in that gold, a vintage gold button, a piece of cut down master board. You can write on the back of that. And this beautiful, um, one of the postcards from uh, one of the Stamperia papers that I used in this. So that's in this pocket. This will be August giveaway. Um, I had stated earlier, if you hadn't followed the vid, the last video, that I'm going to be taking the month of August off because I have to move my uh, art studio here into another room in the home uh, because I need to free this up to be a bedroom. Whoops, this is going to go somewhere. I have that in there for some reason. Uh, I've got a little uh, tag here, well, a journaling card, and I've made it into a little pocket and a little um, tag there. Did some more chiffon ruffled trim, and this is one of those key uh, rings that I altered. Here's the back so you can see and with a ball pin and a piece of that uh, fun tape that I make. Everybody makes it actually now. Well, it's going around. So um, if you want to know how I achieve that out of just scotch tape, let me know. And it's not my idea. I've seen it in a couple places. So uh, I'm going to go back and figure out the first place I uh, found it and I'll link the tutorial for that. I made a little booklet here out of a piece of the off cut and here's a little pocket here and these are just some coffee stained papers and this is velcroed. Here's the front and that the back and whoops I want to show you where these are being tucked. Uh, if you guys haven't been following along and you're just coming in for the giveaway which I'm going to start this uh shucks let me think what is today um i'm gonna start this august 1st okay and uh and i i i'm not quite sure yet so be looking for the future for the next future video when i decide to start the the giveaway for this all right this pops open and then you see we have a pocket and that's where these things are being tucked right here so there's even more room for storage here so that's a fun you know a fun area there then uh, you can see there's a large key here dangling off of that and then you flip it over and uh, we have the pocket here that uh, we did together and then I have a couple tags here one's a die cut and uh, all out of that beautiful Stamperia paper. Here's a piece of, uh, this is a very large pocket, so you have room for a lot in here. If you're following the measurements and you followed this, you know the size of this. Um, I made a tag out of um, some collage. Well, it was this piece of cut down um, masterboard again, as you can see, and some chiffon trim again. 
uh, of this vintage postcard. And then two large tags that I kind of uh, made with you on the last uh, video. Okay, so that's what's tucked in there. So it's a nice, you know, quite a few items in here. Uh, so whoever ends up winning this is going to have some fun with this one, uh, hopefully, and it'll really look pretty on your desk or wherever you choose to put it. All right, now the journal. Uh, here's the front, and you can see the embellishing here, and then the back, and these are two pockets, so um, let me just grab something here. I'm not sure if this will fit. Yes, so I have a pocket there, and then there's a pocket here. So I will find two more little tags or a tag and a journal card to go in there. Uh, I have this tied with the sari silk this beautiful green i'm not even sage green i'm not sure what color that is but it, i thought it went quite well with all the papers and you can see um there's lots of trims all hanging off the side and a lot of fun dangles that can all be removed and then inside here i just have a journaling card here and then one of my wax seals on a ball pin all can be removed, this beautiful vintage uh, style ephemera journal card there in this uh, fabric pocket. And then you can see these, these are vintage uh, pearl trim off an old sweater. And then I'll quickly just go through this. We've got two tags in this pocket, a little cheesecloth, um, pocket here, matching, kind of a matching uh, piece of master board there, a little bit of a bling there, and some chiffon and an eyelet. And then um, in the pocket, the doily pocket, I've got another journaling card. Plenty of room to write. Pretty little button here on that dangle. Oh, I have an empty pocket. I'm thinking I might have a tag uh, or a card somewhere. Well, I will find something to put in our empty pocket. Vintage music, uh, tracing paper uh, from the early 1900s. This uh, magazine, the middle of the first signature. Uh, one of my uh, embellished paper clips. You can move it through, the, through your journal or put it wherever you want or to even take it out. Um, beautiful uh, vintage style ephemera journaling card here and a bookmark. Uh, another pocket here with some uh, vintage uh, butterfly ephemera in there, or journaling card. Coffee stained and uh, inked papers. Um, ledger. This is parchment writing paper. Got a key on that ball pin. Uh, the second signature, um, little definition for the word vintage, parchment writing, vintage, uh, look, we got a nice big bag here, uh, there's nothing in it, so you can store your own goodies in there, a couple of tags here in this pocket, um, this uh, pocket here, this is just a piece of my cut down scrappy strips and I added the word built beauty. Just pop that little tag in there. We've got a belly band here with this large, this is a postcard out of that Stamperia paper and a bookmark with a pearl brad. And there's room to write on the back of this. So all the backs of all this pretty Stamperia paper. Uh, we've got another vintage button here. Again, some, oh, there's some vellum here and then some uh, tracing paper and another vintage book page or magazine page here. And this beautiful, um, I love this book. This is uh, flowers from the British, mm, botanicals from the British, month by month, British something, British, I don't know, I think it said British Isles, I don't know. Okay, so we've got some tags in there. Uh, 
Uh, another dangle here with a cute little uh, charm with a little uh, um, bling in it. Another coffee dyed, uh, or not coffee dyed, another um, belly band in this pretty uh, vintage style um, the ephemera. A little bit of collage here. The other part of that bag. Ledger, parchment. A lot of beautiful crocheted trims on the edges and it brings us to the back cover large pocket in this beautiful big um, tag it says beauty is in the little things it's so pretty with the birds and the daisies and everything so that's it guys I hope you have enjoyed this series please let me know um, you know if this is something that you might make or whatever, and I will be back to um, talk to you about when the giveaway will start. I, as you know, I do a uh, quite a generous giveaway once every month, and that's just something that I want to do, just to give back and thank you to all my subscribers that come in, and especially to you guys who support me and say kind things or even just give me a thumbs up as, you, as I know you watch the video. Um, I appreciate that. Okay, guys, have a blessed day, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.